Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. What's your scent of the day or scent of the night? Leave a comment down below. Before the video starts, I have a new giveaway coming out soon. Well, it's a fragrance I'm gonna be talking about in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna give away two samples of it. It's from the house of Zahara. I bought this fragrance, it was not sent to me for review, so keep that in mind. Zahara, this is Coco Loco. So I'm gonna give away two samples of this one. Um, I heard it's good, I haven't tried it yet. You see it's still sealed. Just got in the mail. So I'll do a review maybe in like a week or two. And I'll and whoever whoever posts their comment down below, I'll pick two giveaway winners. Why do you want a sample of the new Zahara Coco Loco? This one has coconut in it. I heard it's it's sweet, it's fresh as well. So if you want a sample of this one, let me know why in the comment section below. In about a week or two time, I'll post my full review and I'll post your comment on the screen here. If you win, it's the USA only. Today, then I'm gonna give you a clone comparison video. So I have the real fragrance and I have the clone or inspiration of it. So today we're gonna to talk about the real Parfums de Marley or PDM, I like to call it. One of my favorite niche houses. This is Parfums de Marley Selly. We have a clone inspiration it's from the house of Latafa. And this is called uh, Legacy. So in this video here, I'm gonna break it down and see which one performs better or worse than the other. Before the video starts, thank you to my friend Jeff for letting me borrow this bottle. It's not my bottle. So I'm just gonna give you my thoughts of me wearing it and let you know how it performs on my skin if you should buy it or not. Sometimes I don't buy every single fragrance. Some people end up donating or let me borrow fragrances from my channel. So I always give them a shout out because without them, this channel would not be possible as well. I can't buy every single fragrance and I'm not gonna buy every single clone that comes out neither. Let's keep it real. Whether it's designer, niche, clone, or a real thing, I can't afford everything. I'm gonna tell you about both these fragrances, how they perform on my skin, if they're worth buying or not. Spray the real one. This performs the Marley Sally. Awesome atomizer. Okay, so this one opens up fresh. Definitely get bergamot, spearmint, geranium, sandalwood, incense, some muskiness, and cedarwood. Definitely Perfumes de Marley in a bottle. Now we have Perfumes de Marley, um, or this is the clone of Perfumes de Marley, uh, sadly. I like the beautiful, cool little horse cap, which you know they're going to copy that, right? <laughs> and let's spray it. Sprayers are good as well. So both sprayers are good cap is nice okay so definitely get a freshness with it definitely getting some lime in this one getting some grapefruit getting a little bit of a slightly pineapple feel because they do list pineapple on the amazon website I'm not sure if all the notes are the same but some notes are kind of different but you're definitely getting that that lemon opening a freshness with this one definitely get a slightly bit of minty feel in this fragrance and it's nice now i will say that it's a little off by a little bit. So that opening, you get a little bit less of a freshness, high quality, and you get in Parfums of Marley, um, Sally. But this one's more refined, more fresh in your face. This is fresh, but you get a alcoholic feel on the, on the side of it. And that's what I mean by certain clones aren't gonna be 100%, but it's pretty close. Now for me wearing it, it's about 90% similar to this in the opening. So if you like the opening of Parfums of Marley, um, sadly, and you don't want to have a little bit of a 10%, then I wouldn't get this. But if you're okay with that, then this is okay for the opening, a good 10%. Now in the mid to the dry down, you're definitely picking up more of a similarity to both fragrances. Like in the dry down in the mid, you're getting about 95% similar to the same fragrance so if you like performance the marley Sally, and you can't afford it this is good for the mid and dry down it's very close and spot on now let's talk about the performance so everybody's performance is going to be different on your skin chemistry keep that in mind hot weather cold weather so for me personally i wore both these fragrances side by side on my wrist and i sprayed this on my neck projection was very good with this one for the first like two hours i could catch wild stuff it this one here is a slouch in the projection category for me i always had issues with it but longevity wise, this one has a little bit more of a kick. You're looking at about six to eight hours with this one here. Because of the Ambroxan keeps it going a little bit longer. So this one here has more of a bite of a punch than the original Selly on my skin, that is. Talk about season occasion for both fragrances here. Well, you're going to wear them at the same time. I would say spring and summertime. I wouldn't wear this in the fall and wintertime. These fragrances aren't going to cut through that cold weather. But by all means, if you think you can wear it, go ahead and wear it. You're wearing it to the office date night casual these fragrances will work perfectly for you guys ratings and final thoughts so for me personally um this is the original one i love this guy you know how i feel about this one i leave my video at the end of the card but this one here i'm going to give it um an 8.5 out of 10 it covers the basics and kelly gave it an 8 it does everything performs the mari said he does it's just that it's a little off by a little bit with the with the smell of it you're going to get a little bit of a 
a subtle rubbery feel in the background, which I don't get with the original Perfums de Mar. But at the end of the day, if you're on a budget, you just want to smell somewhat like Perfums de Mar without spending $200 to $300 for a bottle, whether you get discount or retail. This is it for you guys. This goes for about $38, $50 to $60. Bucks. You can buy this and reapply it. And it's decent. It's not amazing, but it does the job. And if you're looking for a better performing Perfums de Marley, sadly, at a cheaper fraction of price, this is it right here in the bottle. You guys should definitely check this out. I like the beautiful presentation well. I don't have the box. Jeff has it, but it looks awesome as well. But it's pretty good clone. And if I couldn't afford the real one, I would definitely buy this until I save up money and buy the real thing. If you guys have tried this fragrance from the Latafa, this is Legacy. Let me know down below. Do you like it, love it, or hate it? Let me know what your favorite Latafa fragrances are. Let me know what your favorite Perfume de Marley fragrances are. Down below in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching this cool clone battle video. If you like this type of content, please show your support absolutely free. Click that red subscribe button down below right now. Like the video and click the bell icon so you miss any future content on the channel. Be safe, everyone. I'll catch my new video tomorrow. Peace.